really good card also. I think we might have a foil here. Let's see. Frontier Guide. Rare is a Magosi the Water Veil. Which, I'm sorry, maybe you can make a way to wait that it's good, but I don't know how it's good. It's an okay. It's like whatever. Swamp. A tip card, and I feel a foil. A foil cliff threader. Kind of nice. There we go. Spell Pierce, always awesome. Nice. Another Nighthawk. Seascape. Kuma Refuge, another one of these good solid lands. And the rare is a. Valakut, which is now kind of useless. Although, yeah, I guess you could run it in modern, but. Valakut. A. Full art. Awesome island. I have a bunch of these foil. It's my favorite one. I have a. Okay. Here we go. Cobra Trap. Trusty Shetty. Unstable Footing. And the rare is a Amiria Angel. Nice card. Then we have a. Wait, I did something wrong here. Then we have a, another Full Art Mountain. And a snake token. All right, that's the Zendikar stuff. Let me shift over to the important old stuff. And now the fun part for me. I mean, I love Zendikar, and it was a pretty solid opening overall. And but these are kind of the the real coup de gras of this opening. So okay, I'll go through the onslaught first, since everyone I'm sure everyone wants to watch the future site. So let's do the onslaught first. Get around here. Play Waste, Backslide, Wirewood Elf, really good EDH card, really solid. Also good EDH lands to cycle land. Shock, alright, Uncommons, we have a Crude Rampart, Airdrop Condor, Dispersing Orb, which I actually don't even remember this card. It was that long ago. And the rare is a Artificial Evolution. Which is kind of whatever. It's like, oh well, you pulled an Artificial Evolution. I feel for you. But it's really not that good a card, which is sad. Start with another Glory Seeker. Uncommons, Dawning Purist, Slice and Dice, I love the name of that card. A Whip Quarter, and the rare is a Polluted Delta. That's beautiful. This is the most expensive and difficult to find fetch land. I mean, the pay one life fetch lands. Mint Condition Polluted Delta, super cool. This is so far the most amazing part of this opening. It's an amazing card. And it's blue black, which is why the reason why it's so expensive. Because that is super cool. Anyway, let's keep going. Sorry, I'm still excited. <laughs> Polluted Delta, yay. Oh, and there's a foil. Don't want to look at that. Don't look at foils. No cheating. Tranquil Thicket, super good. Another cycle land for EDH. Seaside Haven, which used to be good when birds were good, but that was ages ago. A Cabal Executioner. A... Rummaging Wizard. The rare is a Oversold Cemetery. Super sick recursion card in EDH. Really good if you're running a lot of graveyard stuff. Of course you have to defend, but it's really cool. I'm getting a buzz. And a Foil Exeter's Will. Super pretty. Anyway, so yeah, the Polluted Delta is sick. 
the other stuff was kind of okay. Not at the expense of uncommons. But now we're going to get to the to an even more exciting part. Future sight. All right, so the opening is pretty awesome so far, but let's get to the hopefully coup de gras of the opening, future sight, which are pretty sick, really sick. Anyway, so let's see what we have. Why is it not working? Okay, there we go. I think. Wait, was it should work? Okay, there we go. So. Some of the cards are just like regular stuff. The real fun stuff is Quiet Disappear used to be a pretty decent card back in the day. Is it give you control a chance to gain life or destroy the permanent? And would make people nervous. So you could but you also could barter with it. Love the art in this card. Super like Arabian. Here we go. This is the future site. Future. One of the future things. They they were trying this out. I actually liked it a little bit. I don't know if I'd want it in every set, but maybe a couple of flavorful cards would be nice with this sort of artwork and this sort of design. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. My brother has a sapling deck and this guy is a beast in it. Another one. Deep Cavern Imp. So he has Echo, which is a nice ability. I mean, it's an old school ability. You basically, you pay its cost and then you have to pay the next turn the echo cost, otherwise he dies. Like an echo, it bounces back. Sliver, mesmeric sliver. Rift sweeper, oh, thank goodness, I was looking for this guy. He's really good in EDH because he can bring back cards that were exiled. Not your commander, but other cards that are exiled from the game. And in EDH, it's most spot removal is exile. He's really sick to have around. He's pretty amazing. Cheap too. Then we have a land that scries. I've never seen this one before. New Benalia. Benalia was a place on Dominaria that was uh, like a soldier place. I'm pretty sure, if I remember my history right. I think Gerard was from there. Capuchin. Skizik Serger. Check out that artwork. Sick. And the rare is black. Corlash, Air the Black Blade. Really nice general, super cool card. Very, very nice. Power and time to see what number of swamps you control. You can regenerate him, which is good in ADH because you don't want him to die so easily. And Grandeur, if, well, you can't do use Grandeur in ADH, but you just got another card with his name, and you get two swamps into play tapped by uh, discarding a Corlash. So basically it becomes a Discard Corlash to Blackblade from your hand when you have one in play and get two swamps into play tap, which is a nice ramp card, but you won't use that regularly. Um, super, very cool card. And ironically enough, he's actually on this pack over here. So, so that's kind of cool. Chroma's Memorial, super sick artifact. Just recognize the picture. So let's see, we have a Llanowar Augur. Skongs. Convoke and buy back a one card. That's cool. Kind of unusual. Like this is like an old school old school dismember. This has madness. Old school ability. Silver cycle sl wait, sliver cycling. That's a funny card. Edge of Autumn, which is actually really nice in many modern decks. Also pretty good in EDH. Another Sliver. Full Art Extended. They're actually one of each color of these. They're not very good, they're just really cool. Blade of the Sixth Pride, I think I have Foil, which is just gorgeous. Another Sliver. This one gives Poison. Poisonous one, which is, in fact, pretty much. Then we have a... Utopia Micon, another fungus for Sapperling. And Imperial Store, which is a dinosaur. Interesting ability, though. And we have a gold metal lockout. And the rare is... Oh, you were hoping for a Tarmogoyf, weren't you? Yeah. We got a Morgana Petro Gifts. It's okay with tokens. I, yeah, I had my breath held, too. I thought it was going to be a Tarmogoyf. Which would have been really crazy. Last future sight. So 
spend. Oh, cool, we have a foil. That's nice. Sorry, I cheated. I don't know what it is. I know it's red. Samite. Infiltrator or core. Shadow. Kind of like a blockable, but a little different. Scry card. Vidalcan Ether Mage. See this, I mean, Blade of the Six Pride. Pretty cool, isn't it? I have a foil one of these. Very nice. Another Sporloth Ancient. A Grinning Ignis. A Spirit Endal. A Cryptic Annelid, which I actually show in my, one of my videos as three times Scry. Scry one, Scry two, Scry three. And the rare is... Not the rare. I'm kidding, it's an uncommon. I know you're all like, oh, Tarver Goyf! It's Phosphor and Feast. And the rare is... Heartland Storyteller. Whenever a player plays a non-creature spell, each of that player's opponents may draw a card. Hmm. Interesting. I guess this would be good in EDH, but who knows. And the rare is a... Sorry, the foil is a hench feared Hench Fiend of Ukar, which is just a super pretty foil. So, despite the many, oh my god, almost Tarmogoyf moments that I had opening, no Tarmogoyf. Oh well. Maybe next time. Okay, guys, so that is the opening sponsored by abugames.com. So we had some pretty, overall pretty solid, bunch of solid cards. We got a fetch, we got one cheaper fetch land. We got the old school Pluto Delta, which is super awesome. Foil, full art land. A bunch of really good rares. A couple of mythics here or there. And some really solid uncommons too, including one I need for a deck. So that is the opening. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. There will be a giveaway involved. Pretty much you have to like the video, favorite the video, and comment below. Please go to the abugames.com website and look around and tell me something that makes them a particularly useful or unique website compared to maybe other websites on the interwebs that you know of. And let me know in the comments below. And please do not copy paste, do not just copy someone else's idea. If someone says something they like about the site, don't just say, oh, I like that too. Like try to find something that you personal, personally that you have an interest with on the website, even if you haven't ordered from them. But the stuff, I mean, my personal experience, the order came pretty, the order, the sponsor stuff, the sponsor stuff came pretty quickly. So they shipped it. It, it was very well packaged. Uh, shipping was a little long, but I think it's because it was just so much stuff in it. So definitely no worries. Please feel free to check them out. Their link will be in the description and on my channel. And... Once again, Roxbox90 here, signing out. Thanks for watching.